Dr. Bob Letta here with Synagenics Alaska. I'm going to demonstrate and cover some of the things you're going to need to know to inject um, testosterone or estradiol intramuscularly. Depending on um, what you and your physician decide, there's going to be some shared medical decision making, you're probably going to be taking an injection either once or twice a week and you're going to receive some supplies. Now you're going to get a bottle of testosterone or estradiol or both depending on uh, you the patient and it's going to come in a canister like this and you can see that mine is testosterone sipionate and I inject 0.2 milliliters intramuscularly twice weekly and you guys will share in decision making whether you're going to go once or twice weekly both can be appropriate uh, twice weekly is smaller shots and um, so a little less volume may have a little less soreness. This should be fairly painless though um, and probably smooths out the humps and valleys a little bit uh, on the dosing but probably not a huge issue if you want to only do one shot a week. So when you get this bottle there will be a little plastic cap on it that you will pop off. Okay. This one has already, I've already used some, so that's already been done. And the bottle confirm 200 milligram per milliliter. Now, when not in use, it's best if you go ahead and put this back in there so that bacteria that might be floating around in the atmosphere don't land on the top of the bottle because we want to keep it sterile. Now, additionally, you're going to receive supplies for injection. The needle that you will use is a 27 gauge, one half inch needle. It's tiny and short and quite painless when done properly. But you will have a larger needle, a 21 gauge, probably one inch needle for drawing up this thick liquid medication. And of course you will need a syringe, which these are one milliliter syringes. Now your dose that you will be taking and the dosing regimen will be on the bottle. I normally do my dosages on Sundays and Wednesdays because we can't get our labs out on a Friday and still have them run because the specimens will basically get too old and Quest doesn't work on Sundays. So in Alaska, we like Sundays and Wednesdays so that we can get peak lab draws on Mondays or Thursdays and still make our shipping times. Now my dose is 0.2 milliliters. And so I've put that much air in the syringe. And I'm now going to take the 21 gauge needle and I'm going to lock it on the syringe. Now I'm going to take an alcohol prep and pull it out and I'm going to wipe off the bottle where the rubber is. I am then going to place the 21 gauge needle into the fluid. Now if you push this up too high as the bottle gets low, you'll draw air. So you just barely put it in. Go ahead and inject the air and then pull out ample amount. Just go past your dose. Get quite a bit of product in the syringe. Okay, now what I will do is I will now bring myself almost to point two. I'll leave a little bit extra in there and I'll take this out and I can put it away and put the lid back on and restore that. Now, there is testosterone in the needle and the hub and we need to get that or it will be wasted. So we have to pull that back. So there's actually going to be more than my dose in the needle or in the syringe. I will then take the needle off and because this is a sharp, even though it's not contaminated, I'm going to throw it in the sharps container, which we will provide you. Now I'm going to take the injection needle and I am going to put it on here and I'm going to advance until I see a little tiny dollop of testosterone come out the tip of the syringe and I'm right at my dose a little bit more 
So I'll waste a little bit there and get me to my dose. Now, when I inject this, there's going to be a little bit of waste in the hub that gets thrown away. That's okay, but we didn't want to leave it in the other needle or we would have a shy injection. Now I need my alcohol prep again. All right, now there's three different places that people typically will inject. You can use the deltoid, but that's not as big a muscle, and especially if you're doing larger doses, that could be problematic. I would say most people for injecting on themselves, and I wore shorts to make this easier, is to inject in the quadriceps. And we wanna do the upper outer half, somewhere in here. I generally alternate Sundays here, Wednesdays here. You can do the upper outer quarter of the glute, but some people will find that difficult to do on themselves. But that is an option. Again, upper outer. We're trying to avoid nerves and blood vessels. And in the thigh, the femoral artery and nerve run about right here. So normally I would sit down to do this so the muscle could be relaxed, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to stand. So I'm trying to relax the leg and I've wiped off where I'm going to inject. Now you can do that a little bit to fire off the nerves, but truthfully, it's really quite painless. So I'm going to wipe off again with alcohol since I touched it with my dirty hand. I'm going to relax the muscle. I'm going to remove and you can see how quite small that needle is. Okay, now, if you just kind of loosely hold it and just, you don't even feel the needle. Now, inject slowly so you don't spread the muscle tissue out too quickly. It'll cause you to be sore the next day. And it's pretty hard to inject fast through a 27 gauge needle. Once in a while, you will hit a superficial nerve. It will create a zinger. You can pull it out and re-inject, but the reality is the nerve is, the needle passed through the nerve and you're not injecting into the nerve, so it really doesn't matter. I did not hit one then. It's not too bad, but some people find it uncomfortable. I'm almost to the end. The plunger won't let you push anymore. I felt absolutely zero discomfort with that. I just pulled it out. I'm going to set that down. I'm not getting any blood. Maybe a little teeny bit. If you do, you can take your alcohol prep, wipe it up. That is a completed injection. Once again, we want to throw the sharp away. So that goes in the sharp container, but there's no need to Put this in the sharp container it's not contaminated and it won't poke anybody so this other stuff can go in your regular trash container you will get a supply of alcohol swabs a supply of injection and draw up needles and syringes along with your sharps container so that you may complete these injections and the dosing should be clear on the outside of your prescription bottle I hope that helps you to understand how to do this and feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Thanks, Bob Let Out.